Hey guys, I'm Sonia and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing a huge beauty haul from Walgreens. I've got tons of goodies here. I mean, a lot. I spent $156. Today I'm going to create this look for you. It's really natural, dewy, and really easy to apply. A lot of the stuff you're going to see me use my fingers as well. Just like effortless, easy makeup, right? So yeah, I'm also like creeping on 40 and I wanna make sure that I take care of my skin and the way that we apply our makeup is definitely going to make us look either younger or older and which one of the two do you wanna look? Now if you like videos like this and are interested in seeing more, don't forget to like, share, and also subscribe to this channel and let's get started. Just a little disclaimer, this video is not sponsored by Walgreens or anybody else. Maybe the Lord, thank you Lord for giving me the money to purchase all of this makeup. I do have links to everything that you're gonna see in this video in the description box down below. We wanna make sure that our makeup that we apply to our skin is not expired, so check your expiration dates or throw out anything that might be old. I know it's gonna be hard to do. You're gonna to have to say a little prayer to your products, but it's worth it. You don't wanna put expired makeup on your face because it might fall off. So how I'm going to do this video is I'm going to take things out of my bag and my thoughts as I'm applying my makeup. This is the Garnier Green Labs Brightening Serum Pina C. Um, it's with vitamin C and pineapples. It has broad spectrum SPF 30 sunscreen. So a lot of people always say like, oh, you don't wanna wear sunscreen when you're taking photographs because of the kickback or this white cast that will be all over your face or wherever you put your sunscreen. But in my experience, I didn't have that problem. My skin is so dry right now during the winter. I don't know if you guys are experiencing this. I also have like a chapped nose all the time from wearing a mask. So I kind of go in with my moisturizer around the nose area, especially. Like right in the little nooks and crannies, girl. Next, I'm gonna be using a primer, and this is from e.l.f. Similar to the Physician's Formula Butter Believe It. I love that one, and I continue to use it, but I heard so much about this one in particular that it's why not? I'm gonna go ahead and put my fingers in it like this and kind of just like warm it up. And since this is just for me, and I don't do makeup professionally, I'm gonna go ahead and go straight to my face. That feels really good. It feels almost like a moisturizer, just thicker. And it's not doing anything to my moisturizer as far as like making it ball up or anything like that. So the amount of primer that I got off of this just from a few rubs was enough to cover my entire face. We'll see how this holds up during my application. I'm hoping that it doesn't leave me looking too oily. Okay, so next is gonna be foundation and I bought four different foundations. You guys seen the L'Oreal Paris Skin Paradise um, foundation in my recent Target haul and I actually had to return it because it was too dark. I got medium two and this is light one. So I was able to swatch it and I'm hoping that this will look great on my skin. I feel like it's still really dark. Okay, so although it looked darker on my hand, when I blended this into my skin, it actually looked way better. I'm gonna put a little bit of this right in this area, see if I can blend this out. And cover up some of my discoloration. Let's see how this works. Ooh. Okay. That covered really well. See that compared to this? It is a lot more full coverage than I was anticipating because of how thin it is, but a little bit does go a long way and it covers up really well. Like I had a lot of darkness underneath my eyes and that is no longer. This is the Maybelline New York Dream BB and I got it in fresh. This is number 10 light medium sheer tint. So I'm hoping again, like it's kind of hard to guess your shade, especially if there's like no swatches available because I can't really touch things right now. 
so initially really light. BB creams are typically like really sheer and light. They're just supposed to like protect your skin while adding a little bit of cover. So far, that one just melted right into my skin and that looks really good. I'm just hoping that it doesn't dry down dark. I also have, I also have, <laughs> I also have the L'Oreal Paris Age Perfect Radiant Serum Foundation with sunscreen and I got it in the shade Nude Beige number 35. This one's a lot thicker and has more coverage than the last few products. And let's cover that up. I'm just using my finger to place it where I really need the most coverage because I have like age spots, sun spots, melasma, some freckles, um, redness from allergies. Blend this out. The color is perfect. I really, really like the color and look how it looks on my hand. It is just like seamless, super natural. I love it. And last but not least, this is the CoverGirl Plus Olay Simply Ageless. I have purchased this in the past, but the tube that I had, I'm sure it's expired by now, so I decided to get another one because I really liked it. Now that I'm getting older, I feel like the more makeup I wear, the older I look. So I'm trying to keep it fresh. I got the shade 232 Nude Beige. This is a three-in-one liquid foundation. It has hyaluronic complex with vitamin C and it instantly reduces the appearance of wrinkles and improves tones while delivering um, a firming moisturizer, which we love. I really like this formula. It feels really good on the skin. It really does feel like I am applying like a moisturizer. It is thicker and in my opinion, I feel like it's more full coverage. Again, I'm just kind of like spot treating where I want the most coverage and then I'm gonna go back in with a brush or with a sponge. I need my mirror a little bit closer. Your girl's losing her sight. And this is just my skin without any correcting, like no contour, this is no concealer, nothing. It's just giving you a really nice, flawless, hydrated base. I purchased two of the Maybelline New York Instant Age Rewind Eraser and it is a multi-use concealer. This concealer is a twisting concealer and at the top is like this really cool, like fuzzy applicator. I just wanna make sure I get it really nice and saturated because I don't want it to remove any of my foundation. I want it just to add product, not take it away. Now I found that if I use this wand or this little tip here, to try to blend it, I'm actually adding more and more of the product. So I just use my beauty sponge or my fingertip to blend that out. And this is um, the same product, but it is in medium and I have medium olive number 145. Down the bridge of my nose like this. Hoping that this is not like too dark for me because if it is I'm just gonna look really messy you want to make sure you work quickly a lot of times in my experience concealers dry really fast now this wasn't a bronzer or a liquid or cream bronzer this was a concealer so I want to make sure that I work quickly here is another product this one is from wet n wild and this is their contour stick I believe this might be the only contour stick that they have, if not a second one, but it was too light for me. It looked like it would be a little bit kind of gray on my face. So this one here is number 805 Call Me Maple. And let's see how this works. It's like a chubby pencil and you just screw up the bottom and it just comes out from the top. So again, if I wanted to go in a little bit deeper on my cheeks here, or on my, the top of my forehead. A little bit slimmer on the nose. I mean, my nose is about to disappear for crying out loud. It's really creamy, but it's not as thin as that eraser concealer. Like really, really orange. So let's go over that with my foundation brush. 
There we go. That's helping so much. Okay, so to go over that and set my face with powder, I'm gonna be using this CoverGirl Clean Fresh Compact, and it looks like this. I love the packaging because it's like a baby pink. This one is in number 140 light or pale, and I really love this powder so much. And I'll make sure to put that down below too if you guys are interested in just checking it out and reading about it. Next, I have two blushes. I'm gonna try out this one here, and it is called Peony. This came with a brush, I think, but it fell out, so it's okay. I wasn't gonna use it anyway. So I'm just gonna take a little powder brush, load it up, and I'm just gonna place that on the higher parts of my cheeks up here. That's a really pretty color. Okay, why not? I'm gonna try the Wet n' Wild. This is actually significantly cheaper in price, um, but the L'Oreal one is from that Age Perfect collection, so it does have like anti-aging in the mix. The color is really pretty. Again, you just have to have a really light hand and blend. Very similar in colors. This one's just more matte. The one from L'Oreal has a little bit of a sheen to it, so it stays in that dewy, fresh look. But because of the foundation and because of our primer, it still kind of has like a dewy finish. Do you see that? I'm gonna use the Maybelline New York Brow Ultra Slim Pencil, and this is in the shade Medium Brown 257. I got it in medium brown because I didn't want to get black or like dark brown because I just feel like it'd be too aggressive. My eyebrows are almost non-existent when I don't paint them in. I try not to tweeze, pluck, or thread them because first of all, that hurts, ow. Um, and my eyebrows don't grow back. The spoolie brush on one side is gonna to help to direct the hairs and it's also going to help blend the product. On the other side is a retractable pencil and it's so thin and fine that it's actually going to help you create like hair strokes and give you that microblading look if you want. Hopefully you guys can see that. I mean, it's pretty thin. In my experience, a lot of brands will do like a taupe color. So then my eyebrows look really ashy. So as you can see, you just kind of like tell your eyebrows, all right ladies, we're going up into the sky. I'm not making my eyebrows look huge and big. Put my pencil down on my skin and flick up really quickly and then you get those little hairs. Now for my eyes, I'm gonna be using this palette from Maybelline. I feel like I use a lot of Maybelline products. It's really pretty, it's got all of the neutral warm tones that we enjoy and they're perfect for like all year round. I'm gonna use this shade here, it's called Creator. I'm just gonna go in and start cutting in that crease. Which again, even this is like out of my comfort zone because I really don't cut the crease anymore. Only because I've got so many creases <laughs> everywhere, girl. Ah, my eyelids are getting heavy. My skin was so tight when I started YouTube. Now it's going to hell. Part of me just wants to own the fact that I keep getting white hairs and they're taking over and just like, I don't know. Part of me just wants to dye my whole head silver and just be done with it, you know? I'm gonna go back into that palette and grab a flat shader eyeshadow brush and take this color called Artist and I'm gonna pat that right on that concealer just to brighten up that area. This really does change the look of your eyeballs as well. I'm gonna use um, Self Starter. For me personally, I have never said like I am self-made. If I have, it's probably BC, before Christ, because I just would never say that now. I just know that it. I didn't get here on my own. I got here with, you know, the good graces of God and with all of my supporters. There we go. Ew, ew. 
kind of love this vibe that we're doing here, like just hanging out, playing with new makeup and creating a look for you guys because I'm like chill, I don't feel like... <laughs> okay, so I already have on eyelashes and I was wearing these to church. I had intentions of coming back and filming this video for you guys, so that's why they're on there already. Also, some of my like dirty, busted, crusty <laughs> Um, eyebrows were on there previous, so I just kind of like fixed it a little bit, but I'm gonna throw on some eyeliner now, and this also can change the way that your eyes look in your makeup application. So what I'm gonna be doing next is just taking the tip of my eyeliner, and this one is from Maybelline. This is their Master Precise All Day, and it is in this shade. Is the shade on here? No, I think it's like, it looks like dark brown to me. So I just go a little bit on the inner corner and then I go right from the top, like where the ball of my eye starts and I go back into time over here. Like this. Can you see how already that changed the shape of my eye? I have my father's eyes and they're really round and bubbly, kind of like frogs. So I like to Play with makeup in the sense where I can really change my features temporarily with makeup. So again, with that high wing, still keeping it rather thin because it's not so prominent and it just changes my eyes. Now my eyes are like going back, right? And it looks lifted. Before I move on to my lips and finish off of this look, I'm gonna use a little bit of Milani's Make It Last, and this is just a setting spray. There are tons of different setting sprays. The one that I've been loving a lot lately is this one from The Poor Professionals. This is from Benefit Cosmetics. It's a really fine mist. Can you see that? Really fine, kind of like those misters that are out in the restaurant to keep you cool. It's like that. It's really, really thin. It's got a really pretty scent to it as well. This one, even that, it's a little bit, it was a lot. I was always apprehensive about using setting sprays because I was scared I was gonna get it like a right on my face and it was gonna mess up my makeup. So I really have to like back it up. Moving on to my lips. If you guys watched my last makeup haul, if you didn't, I'll make sure to put a link in the description box down below. I had showed you one of my favorite lip liners at the moment. It's from NYX Cosmetics and it's called Nude Beige. Another one would be Natural. Those both are drugstore lip products. Um, but I wanted to try this one to see if I could find something else because NYX Cosmetics is not really stocked in my area. And I thought, why not go with L'Oreal because it's in every store. So I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips like exaggerating because I want them to look big. So I kind of go like underneath. Ooh, this color is really pretty because it's like a true nude. I love it because it's not too pink. That's what I was after. I was after something that was more on the brown side versus on the pink side. So when you get something that says natural, I'm thinking that it's going to look like this. So I'm like obsessed. The only thing is, is that it's a sharpenable pencil and not like a retractable pencil. So I don't know if that's good or bad. Um, with pencils, like this, it kind of gives me like PTSD from Kylie Jenner's makeup collection because all of the lip liner, like the actual color, like is loose and falls out. So I'm like, I hope that doesn't happen with this lip liner, but the color is the bomb. So if I have a loose color, I'm still gonna use it. I'm obsessed with this color. So if you're gonna pick up anything from this entire video, it would have to be Number one, get that nude lip liner, especially if you're a nude fanatic like me. 216 Glowing Nude, and it looks like this. It's a really beautiful nude lipstick. I love the ombre packaging as well. Ooh, it's really hydrating too. I think I just found my new favorite lip combo. How many of you guys purchased Ferris Nude because of me? That was my signature color. I can't tell you how many times I've signed a lipstick tube of that when I've either met you guys at a meetup or I've met you guys out in public. 
that is like number one. Everybody always tells me about that one particular shade. I still have it and I still purchase it when I see it in the drugstore. I just stopped talking about it because I felt like y'all were like, get a new color. <laughs> and that's it for today's haul slash makeup tutorial. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this type of video. And if you do, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you have not already subscribed and joined my family, please consider doing that now. And until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye.